Hey everybody, and welcome back to Swift Lessons. This is video two of two featuring Chelsea Mitchell. We're gonna be doing for you I Fall to Pieces by Patsy Cline. We'll demonstrate the whole tune, and then I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. We have a capo here on the third fret, and we're in standard tuning. This is going to be my arrangement that combines elements of the rhythm section and also the lead elements of the pedal steel. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, let's break that down now. Okay, coming in on beat number two. One, two, three, four, one. We have this nice little walk up here, okay, using some double stops. I have my G major shape. I'm going to strum through the chord, using my middle finger to pluck the B string. Notice how I just drag my pick down the strings, allowing each note to kind of ring past one another. All right, once I've done that, I'm going to grab the second fret relative to the capo, G string, and first fret of the B string. Okay. Then I'm gonna take that shape up one whole step. So going from two to one, up to four to three. Okay, that'll get you to a C major chord where we're gonna strum. Down, 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 up, down. So far you have. Okay, so we just strum down, 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 up, down on the C chord. Next we're gonna play on the D major chord. So the D chord, we started off in the first fret position with an upstroke. And then a downstroke as we make it up to the second fret position, its normal position. Okay, so. All 
and all, in the D major chord, we're gonna play down, 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 and on the last one, we're gonna go staccato, nice and short. Okay, once we've done that stop, we're going to play. There's our double stops again. We're gonna slide up to that fourth fret relative to the capo on the G string. And we're also going to be plucking that B string, uh, third fret. Then go down a whole step and play the open G and B string. Okay, what we have so far. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, then after that, we're gonna go back to the G major chord and play. This is my personal edition. It's not in the original track, but there did seem like there needed to be something there. Okay, so I'm playing the root note of the G chord, doing an upstroke on the uh, B string and G string, and then I'm gonna do a hammer on onto the D string second fret, and then play the open G string before going back to the root note. Okay, so for the G chord, Classic little fill there. All right, your entire intro section now, it's gonna sound like this. Nice and slow. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, excellent work everybody. We had that intro section down, now we're jumping into the chorus section. Real quick, before we get started, I wanna remind you all to head over to dirtydollhouse.com. You can check out some more of Chelsea Mitchell's music, maybe get yourself a t-shirt, or even a vinyl copy of her new record, Vinyl Child, which is a fantastic album, I'm positive you're gonna love it. Okay, now taking a look at this chorus, basically we're gonna just have a one, four, five in G position. So, a G major, C major, and D major chord shape is all you're gonna need. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. The C chord, and the D chord, twice. Chromatic. C, D, and G. Okay, and that's gonna repeat twice through. Okay, so very simple. You take that G major chord, we're gonna strum. Down, 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 up, down, up. Or you can count it. One, two, three, and four, and. You're gonna repeat the same thing on the C major chord. And then you're going to repeat that on the D major chord. But we're gonna have two measures on the D chord with a little chromatic walk down, okay? So, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 as you go down to the first fret position and transition back to the four chord C major. Repeat the D chord, and go back to G for two measures. Okay, and like I said before, that entire thing is gonna get repeated once more. Okay, putting together that entire chorus with the lyrics. One, two, three, four. I fall to pieces Each time I see you again We're gonna repeat. I fall Okay, and then that will get you into the verse section, and that'll be the last thing you need to learn. Okay, very, very good, everybody. We have the intro section, and we also have our chorus section down. Next, we're going on to the verse section. First, a demonstration. A one, two, three. You want me to
break that down. Okay, so if you're following along using your chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, we'll see on lines one and two, we're just gonna have that G, C, D, G progression. We're gonna have each of those chords for two measures. So the G major chord, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Same exact uh, strumming pattern as before. But just as kind of a pro tip, if you wanna fancy it up a little bit, you can do some bass and treble separation. So on the one beat, hit the bass note. Okay, that can actually be uh, a couple of notes. We can do the, uh, the E string and the A string and the D string on that first strum. Do the same thing on the C major chord. The same thing on the D major chord. And then go back to the G chord. But for the second measure of that G chord, I'm just gonna play bass down and then walk up to the C chord. So I'm replacing the pattern with a classic walk up. Okay, so the G chord's gonna get. Pretend we never met. Bass down, ba ba. So that's zero two on the A string. That gets us to the C chord. Now each of these chords is going to be just one measure in length. And I try and I D. And go back to the G chord for two. Okay, now the second measure of that G chord is going to get the walk up as well. So, line number three, following along using your chord sheet. And I tried, and I tried, but I bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down, walk, C. Next, we're gonna to need to reprise our intro section. So we need to learn how to transition from this verse section G chord into that intro riff. First demonstrating the transition between these two sections. Getting started with that C walk up at the end of your verse section. You walk by and I fall to pieces. Okay, so let's break that down. Okay, so this is literally the last thing you need to learn in order to be able to perform this song. You get to that G major chord, we're gonna play the full pattern. One, two, three, and four, and one. Then we're gonna start that intro reprise. Okay, so one, two, three, and four, and one. Okay, then that will get you back into the chorus section. All right, so that's it. Everything you need to perform. We'll have that chorus two, followed by verse two. We're gonna repeat the line, you walk by and I fall to pieces. At the end is kind of a coda. Uh, congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on I Fall to Pieces. I hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to Chelsea Mitchell. Thanks so much for coming in and lending us that beautiful voice. Let's hear it for Chelsea down in the comment section below. I also want to thank my patrons for making all these lessons possible. I hope you're enjoying the extra resources. Thanks, you guys. I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.